So I thought I'd do a quick rundown on the revised uh, Read It Later app now called Pocket. They've completely rebranded themselves. Um, Pocket basically allows you to um, save things to watch later, like stuff like videos, articles, pictures, images, stuff like that. Um, I use it all the time for all sorts of bits and pieces. It uh, syncs across multiple devices as well um, on several apps, um, which you can. I'll put a link in the description below of all the uh, of the links you can get them from. Uh, you can do some native searching in the app, which is quite funky. Um, we've also got a dedicated download button in the app so you can resync things. Um, we can also filter by articles, videos and images which is quite handy um, if you've got multiple uh, different media types within your within your list. Um, we can also do bulk edit so if we wanted to add a load to delete or we wanted to add a load to favourites or we wanted to add a load um, to say that we've read them we can do that. We've also got favourites now you can add um, articles and stuff like that as your favourites. We've also got archive once you've read um, something that you've said to read later um, once that's been read it will go into your archive um, and then you can go straight back home and see stuff you haven't actually read. We've also got tags so you can tag stuff like technology or like I don't know news or something like that or funny um, whatever it is. Just head into the settings now um, this is you know nothing special um, one of the funky things I did think was uh, volume rocker scrolling um, I did think that was quite quite a funky little feature there's nothing really special about that just quite funky really um, store cache on SD cards also quite a handy little thing to be able to do as well so you can get this on the Google Play Store absolutely free and you can also get it on the App Store um, completely and utterly free as well but apart from that happy computing